face. Huh? You're still what? too close what's to what's me. Up? I can smell you. Ah. You smell bad. Oh, it's your fault for being this close to me. If you want, I can just move over here. I will be really far away. Oh, yeah, you're going <laughs> in the be, background. Go be one with the water. Good idea. Bye. I mean, that should wash off the smell, right? Yeah, I guess so. Try washing in the murky, gross, sewagey outdoor waterfall water and see if it makes you smell any better. Um, I think you're being too judgmental of the Vinia Park swapper. Oh, uh, okay. That's the problem. Not that I'm saying about you, <laughs> just what I'm saying about Davinia Park's water. You've got a okay. good sewage system, Barbie. Congrats. Uh, wait. We've been the, inside the water of Davinia Park is contaminated with sewage? I've been inside the sewers inside of Royal City and it's not fun. Uh, and yeah, I haven't been there because Again, no New Year's update for 2023. Sadness. Hey, little beans, we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. To help us get there, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my daily Royal High videos. <laughs> Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course use that code B when buying Robux or Premium. Today I am joined by Iris, hello, how are you doing? Hi, my name is Iris, I'm here with a radioactive woman with a radioactive. Really, really bright neon green wings. I like my neon green wings, what's wrong with them? Yeah, they're cute. Just don't look too much into them. They start to blind you. Before we get started with today's video, you guys, make sure, if you haven't already, that you go subscribe to my new B Reacts channel. There's been a bunch of new videos going up on the channel, and we're posting every other day, and I hope you enjoy them. And also, make sure you go and subscribe to It's B Plays, our roleplay channel, where we make the really, really exciting Bloxburg roleplay, The Coopers, which has a very exciting storyline coming up soon. And Iris is one of the voice actors in it, so you should definitely go and subscribe. The links to both the channels are down below. Comment down below and say I've subscribed if you've already subbed to them and with your Roblox username and I'm gonna pick some of you to give some Roblox to from my Roblox group to say thank you for supporting the channels. <sighs> that was a mouthful. So Iris was chatting to me earlier today and we were talking about things in Royal High that are not so easy for new players. And one of those things that came up that we were discussing was the chest locations. As you guys know, there are a lot of chests that are available inside of Royal High, but there is one small problem. Most of them are pretty easy to find when following guides, but there's a couple of chests in Royal High right now that, as Iris pointed out and is correct, are quite hard to find even with a guide. So, I think it can be quite overwhelming to find them when watching those full videos so I think it would be nice if maybe we made a small video this one right now where we talk to you guys through finding these secret hidden chests that are really difficult to find but make it easier for you to find them what do you think Iris this is about where people are going to get mad about the idea because they are not the one of the people who are having trouble finding those chests. The thing is, like is me. we get a lot of it comments. This really took me forever. I mean, yeah, we get a lot of comments with the same like complaints of people that find it really hard to find certain chests and ask us if we'll show them them. If you've already got all the chests, over this video is not meant for you. But if you haven't got all of the chests and you are struggling to find these particular ones that are really, really really difficult to find on your own this video is for you and hopefully will help you so iris which one is the one, first one that you found really hard to find i will say one of them literally took me an hour like scoring around the entire realm trying to find wow. it i'm not joking Yikes. um it was the sunset island chest the it one in the you, ocean it took you an hour yeah. It's not very, it is quite hidden. Rob, our friend, who also is sometimes featured in our videos and is in our Cooper's roleplay, um, you may have seen him on my streams or in the roleplay as well, he actually said that when he got all of the chests, he found it really hard to find this same one as Iris, even though he was following my tutorial. So let's go ahead, head over to Sunset Island and help you guys to find this particular chest because it isn't very easy. Okie dokie, so once you arrive in Sunset Island, obviously you'll know one of the chests is right here. In case you didn't know, if you follow me, I will show you where the other chest is. We're not going to run, we're going to take a nice steady walk. We're going to show you where the other chest is before we show you the one that's hard to find, just in case somehow you haven't already got it. So if you hop up on the stage, this is the fastest way to get there, and then walk out through the right exit, and then you can just walk up here and go through the little salon. You can get other ways too, you can walk around if you want, but this is just a nice easy way to go straight ahead and then right here inside this pink tent you guys will know already ugh, that one of them is in here by the way you can also grab some chocolate while you're here too and some marshmallows oh. if you like and have some snacks yummy 
Let's take a quick break real quick to just roast some marshmallows. But yeah, one of the chests in there, and as you can see, it does have 250 diamonds. One that people always say is really hard to find is over by the oceans. So I mean, if you come with me, I actually read and saw mm. someone give a tip for this. I think you're going to find a bit easier. Okay, then you might find a little bit easier. So if you come down to the green screen, people always say if you stand at the green screen between this tree and the green right. screen, and then look out to the, the edge of the beach, if you walk down to the edge of the beach where the sand ends over here, and then look back right. at the green screen, so that the green screen is in the top right hand corner of your screen, so that you can see that that's like the right. angle that you're at, then turn and face the water. And then if you hop into the water while you're facing over here and then just swim forward, the chest, I believe, is just over these boulders right here on this side. Oh, my gosh, even I'm lost. Um, oh, no. Oh, yeah, right, it is. I was right. I was like, right, it is. Literally, if you just oh. walk down from that sand across these boulders here and there's a mound of sand and then a pink coral, and then literally the chest is right here. So it's literally right underneath. And I has think... The, is it the hairpins? Oh, it's, yeah, it's the tropical hair, um, hair form. One of the issues with the chests is that obviously the new chests are really pink and really pastel, and this is hidden right inside a pink coral. Yeah, and uh, it's literally right there inside the pink coral, obviously with the new chest system. The old chest system probably would have been more visible. It's a little bit harder to find because it is obviously that pastel pink like Iris said. But yeah, if you look over here by the sand so that you can see the green screen in the corner turn around and fly straight into the water follow along this like boulder ridge here and then when you get to the mound of sand you literally just go to the right a bit and it's right there so nice and easy for you to find and hopefully shouldn't take you as long but i understand why it took some people quite a long time but yeah hopefully i'll figure it out i'm gonna wet my marshmallows real quick and then take them with me so they're easier to chew even softer than usual so where's the um, other one they're gonna be <laughs> extremely salty just as a yes. warning well maybe i like salty things i I'm a salty person. I think in this may be poisonous. Uh, <laughs> not the, nothing was salty. But it's filled with coral. <laughs> anyway. No, uh, poisonous because of the amount of salt. Oh, uh, well. Yolo. So, what is the other chest that you said that was really hard to find? Is it just one you more? You know, this realm that many people forget about that exists uh, somewhere close to Diamond Beach on the map. So, the beach house? Yes. So, if we go over to the beach house, we just press teleport at the exact same time. We jumped for me at the exact same time and did the exact same animation. I love that. So we're here inside of Diamond Beach and obviously there are two chests. One of them is not hard to find. We just come upstairs and as you go all the way to the top floor, you need to walk into the pirate bedroom, which is literally the first room you'll see when you get to the top of the stairs. Walk on through and up these little stairs and it's right here. And this is the puppy ears for the darling Valentina set. But this is not the one that Iris says is very hard to find and I completely nope. agree. If we head down and jump off the balcony, so back at the front of the hat, so they literally just walked out of the main door to walk down to the bottom of the beach this one's the one that confuses people because they can never figure out which rock it is that the chest is in so you're going to want to walk yeah. along the beach this way if you'd like to follow oh. me sorry you're going to see him I was gonna say the ocean is too big and there's literally no like there's no reference points under the sea. No, I so I think you need to go to about between these two sort of rocks here, I think. Somewhere around here. And then you're gonna enter into the water. Now, I could be slightly off, so do keep with us here, you guys, as we figure this out ourselves. Eventually you'll enter swim mode because you'll go deep enough under the water. You need to be pretty deep under this water between these two rocks, you guys. And as you swim forward, you can fly as well. You should come up to a boulder somewhere that has the actual chest next to it if you find it difficult so this is the one that we just flew, swim towards if you swim to it's even fairer i realize actually than the hammock so once we've found it i'll show you guys how to get to it easier i think it's this one yeah it's right here look so it's a bit oh. difficult because it's, it's sat sort of at a really awkward place it, and it's here and this is the um flowing butterfly sleeves if you look up through the water the easiest way to find it would be that the blue house and the purple house you want to be sort of dead in between them both so if i go back over here if you walk past this like sort of weird rock formation and stuff and you go sort of in the center oh. of this blue and purple beach house and then literally just enter the water and and keep swimming forward through it eventually you're going to find the chest and that's the, probably the easiest way for you to be able to get to it i think so literally just keep swimming forward and then you'll see the sparkles and then there it is it's actually quite easy when you do it like that i think but it's not easy when yeah. you're the first time like looking for it or if you're a new player or maybe if you've not followed a tutorial yet or you know Maybe your first time trying to find them. I can certainly understand why it might be a little bit tricky, but that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. 
I didn't spend an hour on this one, but it's certainly got me a bit disorientated. Yeah, it definitely takes a while to find a lot of the chests, especially the ones in Divinia, because there's so many of them. But you sometimes get these really annoying ones, like the one in in Sunset Island and in here, that just take a little bit longer because they're in a really awkward place. Now, I don't know what Barbie will do with future chests. I should imagine that there probably are going to be more chests like this that are in really awkward places. So you've got that to look forward to, Little Beans, when the time comes. <laughs> but she does that with seasonal updates too like they love to hide chests you guys probably know from like wickery cliffs they love to put them in oh, really no. awkward places that are hard to find so i'm sure those that chests will happen again hidden, those chests hidden in houses is where you wouldn't expect them to be that was annoying. exactly i'm sure this will happen again sometime i'm sure there'll be a situation where we have to find a really awkward chest again but for the time being, there's where the ones that at least Iris and I and other people that we're friends with found the most difficult to find. So hopefully that helps you guys and gives you a little bit of guidance on what you need to find it. Fingers crossed it helps you. And if it does, please don't forget to leave a like and comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. And let us know, are there any other chests that you particularly found really hard to find? Maybe we could help you. Let us know. Thanks for watching, Little Beans. Have a great day. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.